Hello, I would like to talk about how important genetics are for our farm or ranch profits. And some people do not believe that genetics play such an important role. And they do. I want to explain how. There are many aspects and reasons that genetics play a determinant role in improving our land and our profits to the maximum. Some genetics, especially those that are high maintenance and high individual uh, performance, require a lot of inputs, selective grazing and uh, or um, total parasite control, and energy feeds, pampering, and resulting high individual performance. And but they require total pampering. And at the same time, they bring low profitability and production per acre or per ranch. They also degrade the land by forcing us to do those practices that are harmful, harmful to our environment to keep them productive. When we have adapted genetics selected for maximum profitability per acre or hectare, while improving our land the fastest, we and our animals are much more comfortable and in tune with our goals. We then can bring harmony to our land and our lives. What is needed in the part of our animals? Number one, we need climatic adaptation. We don't want them suffering for, from heat in the summer or from cold in the winter, or from excess humidity in the, in the atmosphere, depending on where we are located at. Number two, we need Nutritional adaptation, that means the ability to maintain good body condition when grazing low quality forages, which are a given in many environments and at the very high stocking rates required for under today's economic condition. Number three, they need to be easy keeping. They need to have the ability to maintain good body condition and to put on fat. Number four, we want them to be docile, so it's a pleasure to work with them and not having them trying to kill you. Number five, they, we require of them high practical fertility. This is very important. We want them to win a calf every year, not every other year. As many herds in our nation do. We can change our herd genetics by using the appropriate bulls and selection in as little as seven to eight years. But we start to reap the results once the first calves are born. So with correct selection, they will continue to improve year after year. We will get better and better animals until we change the whole herd genes to where it's a pleasure to work with them because of the profits we get from lower maintenance animals that can do more for the land and produce more. Remember, having hard keeping animals on a given environment is not natural and goes against bringing harmony to our land, our soils and our lives. We need to select as nature does. We need not select for very high individual animal performance, but for high productivity per whole ranch. When, and this will be better explained in our Adapted Genetics Selection Online course. Whenever we go against nature, it will hurt your wallet and your land.